Salutations good people, it's Melissa here back with another video. Welcome in. How's everybody doing? Well, I hope. Uh, yes, I'm back to my purple nail polish because you know your girl loves purples. So, today is another video with a hot monkey full mess. And this time, it is because of it is my uh not my self favorite brand other than Tot the balm. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get on into this video. I'm not gonna probably rant for an hour like I did. <laughs> not rant, but you know my diatribe was quite long and verbose. So you know, your girl likes to gab, jack jaw a lot. So. Okay, let's start off with the first thing that I really loathe the most probably from the balm is if you go to their website, well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to pull it up on my cell phone because your girl, you know, your lo-fi lady is not doing all that extra screech on here. No, I'm not doing all that mess. Let's see here. So, the balm... Here we go. So let's do, okay. So here's their website. Let's see, products. Let's go with face. Oh, let's see, what do they have? Oh, here's the Even Steven Foundation. Here we go. And this, Shite. It's 22 bucks, I think. Okay. So here you go. Here's the Even Steven Foundation. Yep, it's 22 bucks. Eight shades. So there's lighter than light, light, light medium, medium, mid medium medium dark dark after dark so let's just show you how after dark looks on their website and this beautiful young lady is after dark she's not that dark she's not dark at all I'm not after dark. Ooh, ooh, just the balm. This is the st it's the buffoonery, the caucasity. And I understand. Oh, the description. A foundation with charm and staying power. We can't even. You can't even get enough shades and a, a good formula. No, you can't even balm. You can't. Our whipped foundation, which comes in eight long-lasting shades, feature a light, airy, souffle-like texture for a natural matte finish. And the ultra-pigmented formula means that, means with even Steven, a little goes a long way. This is the most... This is the most... I just... You guys, I will either try to link a uh, makeup that is the bane of my existence. I mention this product a lot and a very I was very perturbed about this particular foundation of how it it's open. This one is the open one. I don't know what I'm going to do with the sealed one. I can find somebody who it fits. I just There it is. I mean, there's a little to no texture. It's just. And even on this, it's a. Even Steven. A white guy with pink polo and sweater, preppy sweater tied over his shoulder on After Dark Foundation. I understand. It's like the logo. It's the. 
Even Steven, you know, even Steven Square. Also makes me think of the Disney show with uh, Christy Ro Carlson Romano and Shia LaBeouf before he went that crazy, you know. <laughs> but anywho, this is a hot monkey full mess. I feel it is unnecessary. Um, and we're not even talking about shade ranges, which is also something they definitely need to work on. You only have eight shades. Eight shades. Who is... Not I. I am not shade matched into any of those eight because Doc and After Doc don't work. I, it oxidizes, it clings on to patches. I didn't know I had on my face. I exfoliate, you know, once or twice a week. Uh, I use a an exfoliating like skin resurfacing serum at night. Whoa. You know. You hear the crickets outside. That's just how I feel about this foundation. It's just garbage. I had high hopes for it considering it was on sale for like eight bucks. Eight dollars. So I, I technically spent 24 bucks on three of these. Luckily my friend Shmi, hi Sheila, was able to use it I guess as her summer shade. Oh. Very lightly too. I mean for very I guess light. Just, you know even the tiniest and even sharing it out with some moisturizer or a, a syrup, nothing. Setting spray, nothing. Just don't work for me. If anybody's had good luck with it, kudos. I know Emily Noel, she said that she liked it. I can't remember what video it was, but she totally liked it. Hot monkey full mess this foundation one the caucasity with the shade range two it doesn't work it just doesn't work it's just I think it's a very bad a very poor formulation and third it, it's just not good the caucasity formulation sucks and it's, it's I, I personally feel it is not a very good product. That's just me. If it works for others, kudos. Again, I have products that I use that I love that work really well for me. And they may not work or be anybody else's preferred. That's the beauty of makeup where not all of us are wearing the same thing. So that's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, on to the next one. Now this palette I'm not angry at. It's just... The lid fell off my bed. I'm just not really into it. Just you know, it's it it's very neutral other than these two right here, the purple and the green. And as you can see, those are the only two I've used: the purple and the green. And that's. It's okay. I mean, the green is actually quite sheer. Like, you have to build it up. You have to really. I'm really working my finger on the pan. And then. You have to work it. That's, that's a lot of maneuvering and again if it's a product I like I don't mind finagling it to work for me you know but if it's something that's just I feel it's subpar where I'm just getting a little nice of water here guys actually this is alcohol I'm just gonna use a little alcohol to wipe this off um I just it's subpar it's not good It's a very boring palette. And here's the kicker. My sister, I, I think I mentioned in a previous video or so, how my sister, 
I decluttered and gave her my Meat Matte Matrimony palette. Let me see if I can pull that up. Let's see. Yeah, so here we go. It's the first one, I think it's the Meat Matrimony. Yeah, Meat Matrimony. Yeah, my sister says that she has panned this. So yeah, so there we go. So there's the Meat Matte Matrimony palette and I got that I think it was in a subscription box I don't know if I think it's probably boxy I promptly decluttered that I was like I don't want this mess so I gave it to my sister and she's panned this for the most of it most of the colors in there she's used up and I was just like well, well dang she goes oh I love it I was like, I'm glad you like it um uh, I think it's crap <laughs> personally that's me I'm probably going to declutter this and give it to my sister. <laughs> She's going to be like, oh, I love it. I'm like, knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Um, yeah, this is going to my sister. Let's let's just be honest. I don't want it. I don't want anything from the balm in my collection anymore. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. And this monstrosity. I just got this in my Ipsy. Oh, the of that Caucasian persuasion box. Oh, the Caucasity. It's preposterous. Uh, I will try to link that up there as well. Uh, let's, let's look at this, shall we, guys? Here we go. So it bends all the way back. I'm not going to swatch or touch it because I am giving it to my friend Ashley. Uh, Shamay Ashley, my girl, um, we're trading. So she's giving me the bright palette she got in her Ipsy, and I'm giving her this monstrosity. She's fair. This will work for her really well. And these are, she's a pretty neutral girl with occasionally a pop of orange, oh, a, a neutrally brownie orange on her eye. Like she does, but she has these beautiful green eyes, which look gorgeous with that. But yeah. look like anything I'm gonna wear guys anything I mean my lipstick's blue I don't know if it's showing up but it's blue I'm wearing pink purple some brown a little brown green lime green yellow gold and two shades of blue all on my eyes let alone my lips my lip color is blue hot monkey full mess first off let's just go with who is this going to bronze? Most certainly not me. This is, it's dusty. It's, it's dusty. It is dusty. This is, this is just, it, this wouldn't even be a good transition shade for me. This, you know, or, or a crease color to put, say, you know, this color. Oh God, no, it's one of those accursed matrimony shades. Ugh. Or... Oh, another one. Another mat. So that the meat matrimony and meat mat adore. Oh, they have that whole. It's cutesy. It's it's nice. I was looking at their iced tea, hot tea palettes. They look cute. I'm not gonna mess with it because the balm has really turned me off. It's not a brand I'm coming for. It's not a brand I check for, or get excited when they release anything. Because they don't really make anything that really feels like it's going to work for me. And I had to work hard when I've used this palette in a look. I had to work really hard to make it work for me to show up. And purples normally show up. Even when they're crap purples. 
a little finagling you can get purple especially because your girl loves purple I can get purple to show up on me okay I can get purple to show up this I don't really see working for me and I was I mean it's a hot monkey full mess it's a hot mess express I just am very disappointed and it's just you know different strokes for different folks this is not a brand that really excites me it's not a brand that I'm just like oh my god they're releasing something no I'm brands that I check for like that or like Davina glam light color pop BH um, Cleona lethal menagerie that violet ink that little six pan all purple palette mmm I mean I'm not gonna even lie even uh, J star cosmetics there are some things like oh that's a really beautiful color scheme Julius planet her place a oh, planetarium yeah so I did watch rich looks he's like Julius planet and I was like how about Julie Juvia's Planetarium? Because mm. that would have been cute. Um, <laughs> but it's just these. Let me. Oh, and I'm back. <laughs> and bend. And snap. Name that movie. <laughs> so. Decluttering. Giving to my very good friend Shamashley. I feel like I should use this to paint with and stab at the canvas. <laughs> These are just not very good products. I, ugh. Just. You see these three? Not good. And the thing is, I've only used two. But I'm looking at this and there's just the blush, none of the blushes would work for me. The bronzer contouring shade would not work for me. Only two of the eyeshadows would really work. And uh, the Mary Luminizer really would be like an inner corner highlight because it's too, I don't wear frosty. I'm wearing a golden and bronze highlighter again I love my cover facts um, that one's I think it's very brown girl friendly it's it's tan girl brown girl pale girl all girl and boy and everything in between everything respected friendly because they have good shades and different tones and different colors legit the brown would probably work and the Alice Copper so Matt Reed and Alice Copper would really really work for me on the eye but when you have a pan of nine items you only get two that work out of nine is it, is it nine am I right yeah it's nine so it's one two three four eyeshadows the highlighter and three blushes and the bronzer so yeah nine 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 items nine items <clears throat> thing is the one thing that is adorable is their packaging the packaging is cute the, they do great packaging uh, they have a palette called like curses foil or foiled again or something like that super cute kind of made me kind of do a side eye like okay like it's cute because it looked like a comic book and I was thinking oh how adorable it's a comic book character and I was just like oh that's great 18 hour comfort my foot it's another thing that's a hot monkey full mess brassiers <laughs> I wish the girls were on a pedestal I didn't have to wear them I'm telling you but anywho back to the balm the balm is a hot monkey full mess in my book now if it is a brand you love golf clap kudos to you and I'm really glad it works for you for me not so much it's 
it's got no room in my life. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna wonder. My sister isn't even this shade. Uh, bet you I'm giving this to my sister. The unopened one, I'm giving it to my sister. I'm giving her the palette and the unopened one, and this one I'm gonna use to paint with. I feel better getting that out of my collection now. Like I feel less bad juju in my my top makeup drawer. Yes, that feels better because it's gone. My babies are feeling better too. <laughs> you guys, I'm flabbergasted. Another thing that I feel, you know, you girl, the bane of my existence really is like glitter and palettes. But what I was the most, it's a hot monkey full mess and we're gonna show you this one. It is the ColourPop Just My Look palette. Now, everybody went wild over this. I'm thinking, oh great, an all green palette, how gorgeous. You can't tell me, it's, it's a beautiful color, but let's, let's look at the color is, chances are, Kiss My Hoss, which is an avocado. It's a deeper shade of ash on me. Charmed. Barely shows up. And the kicker is my hands are light, but it barely shows up for me, which is saying something. Here. Like, it shows up on my fingers, and I tried building it up. It didn't do much for me. Act Natural is a wee bit on the... I have used every shade in here and every time I use it, it pulls ashy. And this is Mo Bumba. This is the only one that did not, for the mattes, that did not pull ashy on me. Legit, when I say there are two colors in here that really work well... Let me just wipe my fingers off here. The Mary Jane. And all of you. So, I don't know how you, if you guys can see that, but they look chalky and ashy. When they look chalky, they come out ashy. There are some, um, Juvia's Place and a Coastal Scent shadows that I have that are kind of dry and a little chalky but I'm just wipe my fingers off guys uh, when you get you know start working them and you know building and blending they build and blend very nice you know and I don't have a problem with it now I've been finding that the last couple of ColourPop releases, I haven't really been itching to get my little hands on because this made me very leery with its color story. Color story is fabu, but the color selection, I feel like it should have been like rich, lush forest greens and hunter greens like there's just such a great opportunity you get the ashiest greens where yeah again tan girl brown girl tan girls tan boys brown girls brown boys black girls black boys where cosmetics of your you had to finagle you had to work with you had to make them work for you same thing with these types of eyeshadows. If you apply it wet, so if I go in with, let's see. Also something I find that is a hot monkey full mess. The ColourPop concealer. I hate this. I, I wish I can get my $6 back. I dislike this deeply. So if you go in wet, 
with the concealer. There we go. And you know, you don't set it, you just get it, pat it down. And you get it in there, and then you get the eyeshadow on there. Then great. Yeah, you're able to finagle it, make it work. Especially those, um, that super, super light shade, the chances are, the, the minty, that minty color right there. The ashy mint color, yeah, right there. So, but no, I feel like you shouldn't have to work that hard with eyeshadows, especially if you know you want to do a complicated look, which I've done this, this is like my third time doing this set look. You know, I love this type of look. Blue, green, yellow, it's fun, reminiscent, you know, me trying to talk myself out of buying any of those blue, like the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette, especially that Menagerie Whale Song palette. Like it's me trying to talk myself out of buying those things by accomplishing looks like this and digging through my own makeup to find products that will give me the same color scheme and looks like those palettes. Because I'm just going, I want them all, but I don't need them all. But this is a no. So, no. Another thing that's a hot monkey full mess is this ColourPop concealer. I tried using this now. It as you guys just saw, I did put a you know a swatch on my hand. <sighs> yeah, no. It creased. It crinkled. It broke me out. This is why I don't even use it. I've used it twice to cut my crease and I dislike it deeply I'm decluttering this uh, Shmi this is going to you boo boo if you want to use a cut your crease I never use the actual other than touching my hand I took a brush and or my finger I put some on my hand and use my finger to put it on to cut my crease uh, Shmi this is going to you boo I don't want this mess feels great. I'm decluttering my drawer and the catharsis. Like, oh, it's a very cathartic and very good process right now. I don't even mean to be decluttering. It's just happening. The purge is happening with the makeup purge. But it's because these items for me are a hot monkey full mess. I don't want them anymore. I don't want them sitting with my beautiful babies. I don't want them with my items that are good and that actually do work for me and that I do find joy and pleasure in using. That mess. Bye Felicia's. I don't want it. It's just bogusness. Sapa. I don't do mediocre whatsoever. So anyway guys, thank you for rocking with me. It's like half an hour long. I try, I, I, keep, I, I keep saying that, no, 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 I'm, like, I'm gonna get under this, like, I'm gonna get this in under blah, blah, blah a minute. It's a wrap. It's because I like Jack John. I like talking too much. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for hanging with me. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. If anybody wants to list any products that didn't work for you, let me know. Uh, because they suck for me, especially the balm. Shamashly, when you get the balm, you're going to need to put a comment down there if it worked for you. Because I need you to, you're the guinea, you're my guinea pig. Because I'm not trying that mess. That the in the balm of your hand, volume two. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, sweets. That's all yours. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so very much for rocking with me. I appreciate it. So. If you could just do me a solid. Yes, Amy, I'm going to keep saying it. Oh, and I am either this weekend or sometime this week. I'm going to re, uh, redo your uh, Charizard look. I'm going to try. Do I get to do the Charizard look or are you going to pick me a Pokemon? I don't have Facebook. So I'm just going to try the Charizard, that blue orange look she did. Amy living in Chrysalis. If you don't watch her, you should watch her. She's a, she is such a lovely soul and my boy Steve Steven Nice. well his name is Steven Ice but people just when they saw it just call him Steve Nice so I think his channel is now Steve Nice I'm gonna 
<laughs> I keep forgetting to link his channel. I feel so bad. I'm gonna link his channel. When I upload this video, I'm gonna link it in the two two or three videos. I think I've mentioned him. This one, the previous one that I have released, and another one. So I'm gonna link, link him at least the two, okay? And I will link Amy, or at least list them down below. <laughs> okay, guys, do me that solid. Please, take care of yourself, be good to yourself, and to one another, and make those smart choices. Please, make smart choices, because it is a wonderful a wondrous thing when you make smart choices. Mm -hmm. And also, I'll be watching. Make smart choices. I'm still watching. Alright guys. Let me know if you guys have any Monkey Full Mess products. How Monkey Full Mess products. Uh, because these are not making the cut for me <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys and i will see you in the next video which will probably be up later this week i don't know i released three this week so what i released three on monday today's tuesday so this will be going up tuesday afternoon <laughs> and i'll probably film another video later in the week probably some quotes or maybe my video collection because I haven't done the part three I don't know but there'll be something coming for you guys and then obviously I'm gonna film this weekend like I pretty much normally do all right guys thank you so much again how much I was gonna say thank you guys and rocking with me thank you guys for hanging out with me and I really appreciate it thank you very much for viewing I'm rambly but I hope you like it and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace easy. Take care of yourselves. Bye guys.